What are the characteristics of the United States' first government, the Articles of Confederation? Well, first of all, the Articles of Confederation was the United States of America's first form of government after the Revolutionary War with Britain. They needed a strong central government in order to fight back against Britain and any other countries that may impose an attack against them. However, the citizens of the United States wanted a republic with elected representatives and they wanted a strong central government. However, they felt that if they had a central government that had more power than the states, it would lead to tyranny, as it did back then with Britain. So they decided to have a central government where states had more power than the actual central government itself. This is also known as Confederate government. There was only one house, and that was the Legislative House, which was also known as the Confederate Congress. There was no judicial and there was no executive branch, nor, there's, nor was there basically a president or an elected official that was in charge of the executive branch or basically in charge of the whole um, United States of America. What the Confederate Congresses do was that they could borrow and coin money, they could regulate the armed forces, they could also fix trade with other nations as well they could conduct trade with other nations as well and also the confederate congress could also move west states were only allowed one vote per election that they needed and if a major vote was needed to be passed at least nine states needed to vote however if to edit the articles of confederation you needed at least 13 votes all states had their own printed money, which meant that every single different state out of the 13 of them had different types of money, meaning that when you would migrate from one state to another and use currency, they would not accept it because since there were 13 different types of currency, it was hard to keep up with what was what.